I finished my academic education with two university degrees, an MBA. But throughout this education, I felt something was missing. What you want, what you create in the mind, it's all about manifesting. One part of why we do have, for example, workbooks is because we want them not just to stay in the world of thinking about these things, thinking about the outcome and thinking about what they just felt, because to manifest them and writing them down gives another, gives another quality to it, let's say. And so therefore, yes, what you want, what you create in the mind, it's all about manifesting. Things that stay in the mind that do not manifest, it's good for one person itself, but maybe it doesn't benefit many more people because they don't see it. People can only see it if it is manifested. And the first way of bringing something from here out into this world is by writing it down or even speaking it on something that records it. What are your thoughts? Also meaning you can also manifest in the moment where you speak about your ideas to another person. Even that one is something that is starting to turn the wheel. So this is how I see, which is like part of the process in terms of when you want to make something become real. Why do you exchange ideas? Because sooner or later you want maybe some of these ideas to become real, that the idea starts to shape into a form. And how is it done? Some people write their ideas down because from what is written down, something else is going to, to come out from it. Other people prefer to exchange these ideas with other people once again. But no matter how you do it, it must be something that it starts to take a shape. Whether it is, like I said, in terms of writing it down, speaking it on a recorder or drawing it somewhere. But I do suggest that also now, in regards of starting the new year, it does help to write down on your refrigerator just a few bullet points. People might think, yeah, but that's, come on, it's so little. No, it's the little things. If you can't handle the little things, you will not be able to handle the big things. That's just how it is. So that means the small things matter. Even if last year nothing was written on your refrigerator, but this year you make up your mind, you make up your plan, and you put it there, visible, every day. It matters. There is information possible to be shared with words, but it is impossible to share the experience of clarity when you are standing on that peak by yourself. Clarity means you see more clear. When you see more clear, interrelations become more apparent. When you see more clear, there is no need to believe anyone or believe anything. Seeing clear means you can distinguish for yourself which is the proper direction to take and which decisions do I have to make in order to make my goals or aspirations start to shape. The first step is recognize in what state of the mind you are finding yourself in. Afterwards, learn to accept, acknowledge, and allow the situation or a person to be the way how it is, to be the way how they are. Investigate your emotional and mental state and ask questions. Why did it come up? What is going to be the consequence if I remain in that state? And ultimately, non-identification means it is the practice. I am not the body. I I am not the mind, I am not my emotion, it's just that I can see all these two aspects about me. All of our lifetimes, all of our lives are too unique to copy the past from someone else. To bring meaning to your life, to bring value into your life, you need to learn and master yourself. I have a lot of thoughts also. I have a lot of ideas. Partly these are things now that sometimes come from me. At the same time, I also have, let's say, requests or ideas that are coming, let's say, from the outside being offered to me. So what I have sometimes at the end of the day is, I can see in the mind those ideas. Now what I do first of all is, I keep them within myself and do what I call, I contemplate, I think about them. But think about them deeply. Meaning, I take this idea, I look at where would that idea lead? 
if I would now start in that current situation to invest energy in. And so what derives out from that is I'm starting to see pictures, I start to see a vision involving that idea in the future. And this I just do with everything that comes to my mind. And then um, see it in a bigger perspective of is that now what I think the monastery, this community or myself would in any way benefit from in order to make our mission more close to achieve, which means share more. This is how at the moment I'm planning my, let's say, I'm starting my projects. And once I'm clear for myself, this is the one I take. This is the one I take. Then meanwhile, I don't even have doubt that this idea in here will take reality. I don't even have that, that doubt that it will not take place. Because for me right now it is that I try with my intentions, just figure out right now who else what else do I need? What is it that is in my hands right now to make that plan come true? Which obstacles do I maybe have to remove? And which other people or other things do I maybe need to take in in that idea? And then it starts. If I have some people on my mind, the writing starts, the contacting starts. If I see already, okay, there are a few obstacles right now we need to get rid of, then the daily work goes into okay, removed obstacles and yes and why I am saying that at the moment I am trusting this process so much that I'm trusting that idea so much that it will come real is because I'm clear of my intentions and as arrogant as it sounds but I do think that this intention is very much in line of what I think this world is needing right now.